I know you were out playing games till 2 in the morning last night. That's unacceptable. You need to sleep. How is it that she knows exactly what I was doing when she wasn't even here? It's strange. You're creeping me out, okay? Cut it out! My name is Sosa. I'm a senior this year. Ugh, it's depressing. That's my last year of high school. And I have to transfer to a different school. There was nothing I could do since it was for my parents' work. Plus, there is one thing I am looking forward to at my new school. Sota, it's been too long. Maya, I know, six years. I don't know what to say. You've changed so much. Her name is Maya. She's my cousin. My heart skipped a beat when I saw her. She had become so pretty. You haven't changed at all, Sota. Huh? I still look 12. Stop. That makes me sound like the detective transformed into a child. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so glad we're in the same class. Yeah, me too. I'm looking forward to it. Likewise. I was afraid of being the new kid, but I was glad I had a friend there. Was it true? Are you Maya's cousin? Ugh, what did you do to get so lucky? Why are you so jealous? Who wouldn't be? She's pretty, easygoing, and smart. She's most likely the most popular girl in school. I heard that she gets asked out at least once every month. Seriously? Well, I'm not surprised. She's also a daughter of a CEO. Her family is loaded, you know? My father told me about Maya's family. My uncle's company has become successful these past few years, and they live in a huge mansion. I was excited to see his company's name on an ad on TV the other day. Oh, look! Maya was waving a hand at you! Jeez, I'm so jelly! Back when we were kids, she was a crybaby who followed me around everywhere. I'm impressed with how much she's grown. Me, on the other hand, I'm just an ordinary and wealthy high school student. I'm the exact opposite of her. It's depressing to see how we live such different worlds now. So, Ty, I'm sure you don't know about the city yet. Let me show you. I appreciate the generous offer, but are you sure? What if someone sees us? They would get the wrong idea. I don't really care if they do. Would it bother you, Sota? I'm not saying it would bother me. I guess I should stop worrying about unnecessary things. Correct. Anyways, first off... Maya spent the next hour kindly showing me around the area. <sighs> We've been talking for a while. Want to sit down for a bit? Sure. There's a park over there. Being at a park reminds me of when your mom got so angry when you dug that big hole in the sandbox. Uh, oh yeah, I remember. I remember you took the blame for everything, and I was digging the hole with you too. Did I really do that? Yep. You dug a hole and buried my shovel to hide any evidence I was involved. Do you know how difficult it was for me to find that red shovel? I can't believe you remember such details. I can never forget it. I haven't forgotten a single moment I spent with you these past six years. Huh? Maya looked up at me with puppy eyes. My heart started thumping hard. Whoa! Oh, it's my mom! Hello? Huh? A welcome party with Maya's family. Okay, I'll be there soon. Bye! She wants me to bring you to them now. Okay, let's go home together. So, Maya was showing you around the city before coming here. Oh, yeah. I had the best time! I remember you two were inseparable back in the day. Oh my gosh! You guys used to say you were going to get married back then. Uh, is that so? You even made marriage papers and signed them. <laughs> uh, wiping up the past. <laughs> oh yeah, so adorable. You guys, when are you gonna get married, huh? Uh, uh, um, what? How, uh, how am I supposed to answer that? Uh, thanks for the meal. Hey, Maya, let's go. Uh, oh, okay. Jeez, oh, why do adults always bring up ridiculous stories of the past? I feel awful for making you go through that. It's okay, um, I, well... Huh? Is that the marriage form we made that day? Yep, I took it out when Daddy told me you were moving to the city. I know it's weird. I should have kept it all these years. No, uh, on the contrary, I was touched to see that she had remembered our promise this whole time. I don't think it's weird. It brings back nice memories. I'm glad you kept it. Really? <laughs> I'm glad I held on to that then. 
I never thought I would end up bonding so much with my childhood friend whom I hadn't seen in so long. I was relieved and hopeful that my life in a new place wouldn't be as bad as I'd expected. I was up till late last night. Some friends from my old school invited me to play games using voice chat. Morning, Sota. Let's go to school together. Oh, morning. <sighs> I know you're up playing games till 2 in the morning last night. That's unacceptable. You need to sleep. I know, I know. I'll be careful. Hold on a sec. Why does Maya know what I did after she left my house? Oh, maybe my parents told her through line or something? Jeez. Sota, you didn't eat your broccoli at dinner last night. Ugh, don't be so annoying. It's just broccoli. No way, you shouldn't be picky. It's unhealthy. Damn it. Mine must be talking to my mother. I should tell her not to leak private information about me. What are you talking about? I have no idea. Huh? We don't have her mail address or her line account information. What? What the heck is going on? Why does Maya know so much about my personal life then? A few days later, Maya continued to creep me out with her persistence. Her actions kept escalating as she revealed she knew more about me. So you change your toothbrush. Does it feel different? Your pencil's running out of blood. I bought a pack for you, but you should make sure you prepare some before running out. I didn't know you like cats. Cats shouldn't eat human leftovers. We can go shopping for cat food together if you want. You were talking to your old friends yesterday and the day before. It's good that you get along with your friends. But it's embarrassing when you talk about me so much. Wait a minute, stop! Why do you know what I talked about with my friends? I know everything about you, Sota. That doesn't answer my question. Damn it, what the hell? She's creeping me out. It's almost your birthday. I remember you got a Nintendo Switch last year. Earphones the year before and a new iPhone the year before that. As for your present this year, I have the perfect gift ready for you. <laughs> I hope you like it. Uh, okay. My birthday was a few days after that. Meyer invited me over to a place to celebrate. This place is huge. Make yourself at home. I'll get us something to drink. Okay, I have to do this now. I scrambled to find Maya's room the second she left to get drinks. I had to get there before she found out. This is it. I was sure the reason for Maya's suspicious behavior was hiding in her room. I was scared of getting caught, but I had to find out what she was up to. How did she know so much about my personal life? I opened the door and stepped inside. B what the heck? What are these square things around her bed? Wait, are these external hard disks? Hmm, these labels... But what is all this? Uh, there's something on her desk. A red book? A diary? I knew it was wrong, but I was reading her diary before I even realized what I was doing. Everything written in here is all about me. Every page of the diary was filled with writing, and it was all information about me. Where, when, whom I talked to, what I was doing. She had even written about things I didn't remember, along with her thoughts. <clears throat> Look at all the books on her bookshelf. They're all the same. I couldn't believe it. My hands were trembling from fear. Judging by how Maya described me in her diary, she had used a video camera to record every single one of my actions. What shocked me the most was that she kept records of me before I moved here. So that means these hard disks are... Yep, all the videos I took of you are in there. M Maya? I sleep so soundly when surrounded by pieces of you. I feel safe. Chills run up and down my spine. I couldn't wrap my head around it. She's psycho. I told you, I never forget about you once these past six years. What? Why would you do this? What do you mean, why? I love you. I never wanted to feel apart from you. Life material, don't you think? You're starting to get drawn to me, aren't you? Yes, I was starting to feel. Like I need to get the hell out of here! You're freaking me out! Why would I feel anything for such a stalker? What? Really? Hmm, but I think this will change your mind. Here, this is your birthday present. My birthday present? Maya smiled cheerfully and pulled out marriage papers, like the real ones. 
So tell you turn 18 this year. We can get married now. M marriage Wait a second, you can't be serious. Of course I am. Why would I joke about this? It's always been my dream to walk down the aisle to you. While all my classmates cheer me on and congratulate me. <laughs> I'm so glad I asked my dad to fix things so your father would get transferred back here. What? Wait, so you're behind the whole thing from the start? Come on, Sota. I filled out the forms. All you need is your name stamp. Uh, uh, ah! I tried to run from her, but she immediately tackled me and held me down to the floor. I didn't know you did judo. I had a feeling you would react like this. That's why I practice floor techniques. You're too prepared. Maya straddled me and pushed the marriage papers into my face. It's okay. You don't have to go back to your place. I have your name stamp right here. S someone help me! Nobody came to help. I had no choice but to obey. Who would have thought that my cousin would end up becoming a Yandir after being separated for six years? What is going to become of my life? What did you think of today's episode? Please come back tomorrow for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.